afternoon. I am Angela Mason Butcher, and I'm a NASA employee. I am truly honored to be a part of the Mary W. Jackson Building Naming Ceremony. I was asked to share some personal reflections of my relationship with Ms. Jackson. When I first started my career, I lived with Ms. Jackson and her family. When the book Hidden Figures first came out, written by Margaret Shetterly, I began to reminisce, and I wondered, how did I come to know Mary Jackson? How did that even happen? So I began to search some old photos, and I found a photo of me and Miss Jackson, along with her granddaughter. The photo was taken at my college graduation dinner party. I knew Mary Jackson before working at NASA. I went to Hampton undergrad, and I met her pastor. Her pastor gave me a receptionist job at, at their church, and I knew he didn't need a receptionist. He was just making a way for me to make a little extra money. I was a freshman at the time. Later, I told him that I was going to be working at NASA. He must have had a conversation with Miss Jackson because Miss Jackson offered me to live with her and her family. They were so welcoming, and it was such a blessing to me because I was about in my 20s, and it was my first time moving away from home. So to be uh, welcome into such a beautiful and kind family was just such a blessing. Her husband, Levi Jackson, which we affectionately call Jack, taught me how to cook. And someone asked me, well, what did he teach you? And one dish that I remember is he taught me how to bake a turkey. I knew Miss Jackson was brilliant, but I didn't know that she was the first African-American female engineer at NASA until I saw the movie Hidden Figures. Miss Jackson was just so humble, and she didn't brag about any of her accolades. I knew that she was brilliant, and I knew that she made a lot of contributions at NASA, and she helped a lot of people, not just African-Americans, but she also she helped all people. And that was one um, takeaway that I really um, remember about Mary Jackson. She even had a, a room where she had a few desks and chairs because she allowed, she let herself, she made herself available to help a lot of students in engineering, math, and science. She was always available. One of my biggest takeaways from Miss Jackson and the way she lived her life was that she, she taught me how to work hard and to be persistent and to be a person of excellence. Miss Jackson and people like her also gave me a passion for outreach, for helping uh, students to uh, pursue careers in science, engineering, and math. She was truly a great example just through the way she lived her life. Another uh, something else I would like to say is that I started my career at NASA Langley Research Center. Then later, I transferred to NASA Goddard. A little over a year ago, I transferred to NASA headquarters. I'm a technical manager in the Aeronautics Research Missions Directorate. And when I heard that they were naming the building after Mary Jackson, and by me working there, I was doubly proud and honored. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am 